Okay, so now I will be talking about the Nagasaki Martyrs. Um, this is something I did not know about previous to this class, so it's very interesting. Um, so basically, there was 26 Catholics who died for their faith in Japan in 1597. Um, it's not as simple as it sounds because basically, um, these people of Christ or these Christians. Um, were the first people um, to step foot in Japan and introduce Christianity. Obviously, it continued to grow over the years. Um, but they began spreading the gospel and began converting um, hundreds of thousands of Japanese people. Um, so basically, after Japan started realizing that maybe we don't want Christianity here. We want to use our culture. We want to stay with Chinese culture. You know, there's a lot. They had a lot of influence um, from that. So they said maybe Christianity isn't for us. And basically, they banned Christianity in 1597. And um, they killed these 26 Christians that they basically kind of found off the street. Most of them were priests. Um, and they were all Catholic. Um, um, this is like when there was some violence that was already occurring, um, because of the banning, because people were still preaching about the gospel. Um, so Japanese, um, people decided to execute these 26 Christians. Um, and this is... Basically because they're mainly a Buddhist country um, and politics had turned on them and they did not want um, Christianity to be there. And so people and preachers of Christianity um, kept growing with risks, of course, um, because they could be persecuted, executed. But the church continued to grow. Um, so after even killing these 26 priests, um, they Japan roughly burned down around 130 churches um which is like very crazy um but little fact um they killed these priests by basically cutting off their nose and ears and then they were crucified so that's why i say that they died for their faith because they died being okay that they um were spreading the word of god um but there is a memorial built up now in Japan for this, and it is a tourist spot um, to kind of acknowledge and acknowledge what happened. 